Hi, welcome to our Firepower NGFW platform series. My name is Goran and I come to you from Security and Business Group at Cisco. In this video, we're going to talk about an ASA application cluster that runs on Firepower 4100 platforms. We'll do an overview of the setup we have in place and then follow up with a couple of videos that show resiliency of that solution. Firepower 4100 set of appliances are 1RU appliances that allow us to run both ASA and FTD applications and attach to the network with 10 gig and 40 gig interfaces. In our setup what we have is two clusters. We have one cluster built with ASA application on top and another one with FTD on the bottom. They both use a couple of Firepower 4150 appliances and for our ASA we had actually defined a couple of user contexts in routed firewall mode and had attached our FTD cluster with BVIs to those contexts themselves. This allows us to have one setup and use the same hosts that test connections through these contexts and BVIs and show resiliency of both solutions. Firepower appliances have a chassis manager that helps us install ASA or FTD applications, put them in clusters, and allocate interfaces into them from the farm panel ports as either port channels or regular interfaces, virtualizing that data path for security apps. If we take a look at our ASA cluster setup, we have on top here shown attachments of the uh, data links into two units of ASAs. Uh, both units are dual attached with VPC helping us with resiliency on the switching side and on the bottom you see the cluster control links which are individual VPCs that simply use an access VLAN to communicate all the control information between the units. On top for the data link we use one big virtual port channel which is defined to be on the ASA side as a spanned port channel uh, P10 in this case and we are trunking the necessary VLANs across that port channel. With this solution we're using Nexus 5000 switches and those switches must have a supported version of code which in this case is 7.01 version or later. In our setup we're actually using 7.3 version. This is very important because we validate switches to operate properly with clustering and this is the first item that you should make sure is properly set in place which is a supported version of code on these switches. If you don't use the supported version of code you may run into stability issues of the cluster or even the ability for them to join in a cluster itself. ASA solution with clustering gives us redundancy with ports themselves that dual attach to VPC switches gives us redundancy of units of ASAs we can lose a unit and still continue our connections because connection state tracking is supported within this solution and we have switch redundancy that are bound in the VPC. ASA allows us to manage the cluster using a single device manager ASDM multi-device manager CSM and also CLI or REST API. Let's take a look at the configurations on the ASAs themselves. Looking at ASDM here, I am inside a context 2 here as two port channel sub interfaces, one outside and one inside and the respective IP addresses. If we take a look at our context 1 you'll notice that it has a shared outside interface with the VLAN 900 and a unique interface on the inside and also respective IP addresses there. If we select admin context uh, and go to the home configuration here we will be able to review the cluster dashboard itself which is here and I can see that I have two units in this cluster one master and one slave. If we go back to our consoles with our ASAs show cluster info here shows me that the left unit is master 
and the right unit is the slave. So you can see that over here. And doing a summary of the context here, I can see the three contexts that I showed you. If we actually get into a context one and show connections, I see that context one has one SSH and one UDP connection. It is owning those connections and the right ASA unit is actually backing them up. We can get into a context two and see that there's only one SSH connection in a context two and same case with the right ASA unit is actually backing it up. All of our test connections are actually generating uh, generated from these hosts so the UDP connection is going from host B to host A. You saw that details of the IPs there and I have two SSH connections that are in place here. The actual ICMP connectivity that I'm testing on the bottom here is not showing up as a connection because we do have a service policy in place that has ICMP inspection enabled. This closes the connection with every ping being responded to so you can see that the packet counts for ICMP are going. They're not showing up as connections because inspection is actually handling them well. So let's just review the test connections that I've been showing you. We have our host A, B and C and they're coming through these contexts and BDIs and connectivity is simply tested between A and B and A and C that's the connections that you've seen in the consoles themselves. So that is our overview of the ASA cluster that runs on two Firepower 4150s and works with VPCs provided by two Nexus 5000 switches. Look forward to seeing you in the next videos about resiliency of this cluster. Thank you for watching.